Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for those who don't know, I'm Alicia and I've been interviewing inspirational people to find out exactly how they've become, who they've become and the challenges they've faced along the way. This week, I interviewed Jamaican bobsledge team. Here's how it went. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> so it's nice to meet you both. Yeah, nice, no worries. Nice, nice to, to meet you too. too. Yeah. Now you were on this morning a couple of yep. days ago. <laughs> you were pushing a car. How many times has someone come up to you and offered to help push it because they thought you were broken down? Uh, so we've had uh, sort of one guy really come up and, and try to help us bounce out the car, but we've had a. Uh, numerous amount of like funny looks like what are they, what are they doing like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah definitely i bet in this heat as well like with it being so warm they're like what are they doing? yeah yeah what are they doing <laughs> <laughs> it's no. good you find that's quite a useful way to train yeah so for us we have to push a lot of heavy objects around anyway because the sleds weigh between 175 to 225 kilos so we have to move a lot of shift a lot of weight very fast over a short distance so for us pushing the car is, is, is a form of sort of like resistance training and building the muscles in our legs so yeah it's, it's just part of what we have to do <laughs> now with regards to actual competing how do you cope if one of the members of the team is maybe not having such a good day how do you cope as a team to then bring that up and be successful well i think that part is my job like <laughs> I am the one who always cheer up the team. I will dance, I will sing, I will make songs of everything, stuff like that, just to cheer up the team for us to have ice breaking competition time. No, that's brilliant. What's been your best song so far then? <laughs> <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, ready? You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> All right, all right, I'm going for it this time. All right, ready. Jamaica Bob Slay, Lego Create, Be a Damage, Big Up the Coach, she named Joe Mannings, Sigur with the Degree, Win for Free, Shark Slay, Fossil and Rocket, Who am I? Super Gang, Two for One, Two Girl and Shan, in a Bob Slay, Lego Be a Damn Hero, Shan Win, the Dan Win, him jump the Bob Slay, like it's a damn plane. Love it! Your own album. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's it's just like that. I just make songs, even if even when like we're switching trucks, like we're moving from one truck to the next truck, I will make songs of any sign and pass on the road. If the sign says stop, I will make something of stop. <laughs> like. <laughs> That's brilliant. Yeah. So between you all, you must have such a good friendship then. With yeah. You. yeah, definitely. It's like we live together, um, we cook for each other. I mean, we're always around each other all the time. So you do get to like um, make a really strong bond. Yeah. And then in, in t it's a team sport, so bonding make it even better. No, that's good. And like you say, yeah. if you're with each other all the time as well, you just, I suppose that helps when you are... Is it track? Yeah. They call it track? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. when we're going yeah. on track, yeah. yeah. And like when we're sliding, sort of, we have to sort of trust each other as well. It's, it's a massive trust thing. They put a lot of trust in me and I yeah. put a lot of trust in them to give me the best start possible. Yeah, especially and, uh, I put my trust in them because. And then they put their trust in me to make sure I get it down to the bottom <laughs> on four runners. So. <laughs> so, do you all have like a different role on the boss line? Yeah, so I, I'm the driver, and uh, Nimroy is like a brakeman, so he pushes and then brakes at the end to, to make sure we stop. Yeah, so in Bobsey, you only break when you cross the finishing line. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I never realised like how it actually works, and so I suppose it's kind of down to one of you to get it going, and the other one to make sure they stop and don't run someone over at the end then. Yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> basically. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's brilliant. So you've been compared on social media to cool run-ins. How does that make you feel? Oh my god. <laughs> like just the comparison alone, like just just um hearing 
person comparing us to them, it's it's an honor because those guys are the ones who set the legacy for us. And now we are here to continue that legacy. Fantastic. So have you, Cool Runnings is known for its sayings. Have you got any of your own little sayings, what you say? Or is it just you singing? <laughs> no, not really. You just like to sing. <laughs> Yeah, really, really. Lucky charm. A lucky charm. Oh. Charm. So no, actually. Has the egg, doesn't he? And he's like. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're gonna have to get one. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to get one. Well, and boil it so it don't smash. <laughs> <laughs> So am I right in saying that you're actually in the military? You've come from a military. Yeah, so I'm I'm in the air force. Yeah. Okay, so how would you say that has taught you life skills? So being in the military, you have to be resilient because um, you're always going to hit hard times, no matter where you are. Even if you're not in the military, you always hit hard times, but you always got to pick yourself up and keep going and just keep moving forward for them goals and trying to, to, to achieve your um, your objective, as, as we would say in the military. So would you say that that's paid off with being in the bobsleigh team? Would you say that? Yeah, definitely. Um, when you go down a, a bobsleigh track, you, know, you don't always get every single corner correct. And being able to sort of go back down again and keep going and keep going. And sometimes you do make mistakes and you do have crashes and then you go back again and you crash again. But being resilient enough to go back and having the, that willpower and he's laughing because it's just like, oh, I hate when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but having the willpower to just be determined to, to achieve and, 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 and hit that, that goal and get it right, then yeah, it's definitely, definitely a lesson learned. So do you feel like with being determined, you can also pass that on to the members of the team as well? Yeah, definitely. 100%. Like, we're all as determined as each other. Like, when we train together, we're all trying to beat each other. And if you see somebody struggling on that last rep, you're like, come on, get it out. Like, let's, let's go. Like, yeah, definitely. We're always trying to race each other when we have uh, sprint sessions, always trying to beat each other and stuff. And you're just always determined to try and do better and keep up or stuff like that. So, no, um, we definitely push each other, that's for sure. Which is good because then again, that's what probably makes you that successful and gives you that success. Yeah, definitely. So with your training, you mentioned there like you're challenging each other. How have you coped since being in lockdown, not necessarily been able to go out and do your normal training regime as such? What have you done to kind of... Yeah, so uh, we've been going out pushing a car up and down the street yeah as we said and then um, we've also had to build a gym in the back garden out of timber so we've got like a little squat rack that we've made in the back garden with a bench and everything and we've made weights out of uh, cement yeah so we've had to make weights out of cement and stuff so no we've, we've had to be quite creative with what we do but um like we were saying the other day like if you can get results out of not having the right equipment when you do have the right equipment you yeah. should be able to yeah achieve a lot a lot more yeah that's very true actually do you ever have days where you think oh I really can't be bothered today all the time, <laughs> all the time. It's, only, <laughs> all the time. <laughs> it's only natural isn't it? like we're only time. humans all but like again we we have to sort of pick each other up yeah, and say come on yeah we've got we've got to get a session done or you know what i mean Definitely. Yeah. we have to look out for each other and that's why it's a, it's a team sport. Is that what helps then? Like being together, one of you goes, oh, I'm having a rubbish day and the other one goes, no, come on, get on. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that, that, that is one. But I think the main reason for that is because we missed the last Olympic by one slot. Mm -hmm. um, we're using that now as our motivation. So every time one of us are, is down, we just always remember that one one spot that we missed it by and say, let's go. It can't happen again. Yeah, very true. Yeah. Now, with your like usual training, I'm intrigued. What do you normally do? Ah, so we'll do say like a prowler session um, in the morning. So Mondays is normally a push session. So morning uh, Monday we'll do like a prowler session, and then in the afternoon we'll have a weight session. Mm -hmm. So that'll consist of um, like cleans or snatches bench or 
and then we'll do um, step ups, squats, um, bench press. Do a lot of core work because yeah. you have to have really strong core for to well for running. A lot of times, running comes from a lot of core and glute strength. So a lot of our, our work is very like leg heavy work, yeah, like explosive, very work. explosive yeah. work. When you get to the other end, how do you stop? Have you got natural break? Yeah, there's actually like a, a break inside the sled. Yeah, it's got like um. So it's like some loads of teeth like that, and then when, and pull, then, when you pull the handle, it just digs into the ice yeah. and scrapes it to a stop. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going on <laughs> tour? <laughs> you have to like, what should I say? Deadlift, you have to like. Yeah, you almost have to like deadlift it to get it to stop you going that fast. Yeah, be, well, why, why I do this? Yeah. Because the jug had, yeah, we're <laughs> shit. <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, no thank problem. You. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Peace out. <laughs> so I hope you all learned something from that interview. Now I know for me, what stood out the most was that if your team member is maybe having a bad day, then make sure that the other team members support that person. I mean, we're all human. We all have bad days. And like you heard in the video, when one team member wasn't feeling necessarily up to it, the other team member would sing, dance, be happy and try and lift the spirits of the whole team, which helped them to become successful. You can follow the bobsledge team at the links here. Now, if you have someone that inspires you, comment below. I'm always so interested to find out who others find inspirational. Likewise, if you have an inspirational story to tell, comment below, drop me a message on social media, or even drop me an email. On Wednesday, I'll be interviewing young entrepreneur, Jay Magson, about his journey and how he's had quite a few businesses before the age of 21, and he's still determined to become successful. See you all on Wednesday.